there's gloves around the room. You're welcome to grab gloves and feel it. I mean, you can really see the cartilaginous rings right in here that hold your trachea <laughs> open so like your trachea doesn't collapse and you suffocate. So that's kind of nice. Um, there, the esophagus looks like it's removed. I don't see it. Um, the esophagus would be behind the trachea and it's very, very thin muscular tube, which is normally collapsed because you're normally not swallowing. Sometimes you do though. Uh, here is the heart. That's a big, juicy specimen. Yep, this is the heart. Um, there's a little bit of diaphragm tissue left right down here. This is the, obviously the part that does the breathing, the moving in and out. Um, this is a sheep, so you'd find it like this. So which one's my right lung? This side, side one, or side two? Side one. Yep, side one. Uh, and just like in humans, it is a three-ish lobed right lung, lobe one, lobe two, lobe three. The left lung has two lobes, lobe one right here, lobe two. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, in the butchering process, its right lung was pretty badly lacerated. So it's not really possible to inflate the right lung, but the left lung, on the other hand, we can maybe get a little inflation going on. So it's not quite, as a preserved specimen, it's not quite. Um, gonna inflate like it would if it wasn't preserved, but. Is the air coming out of it? There we go. Ooh. It will inflate some. So, kind of cool. You can see right up here it's not inflating. Other parts it's not inflating. But that is what your lung looks like when it's inflated. Cool. Or partially inflated. Yeah. Um, in terms of vessels, I'm not going to dissect this too much. Um, but you actually have something called uh, your mediastinum which is right in here. It's this protective layer, kind of a connective tissue surrounding it. Uh, your heart is right here. We haven't done the chambers of the heart yet, but um, you'd have your left side right here, the right side over here. Here's a coronary artery. I'm delivering blood. So, yeah. if you wanna feel it, you can grab a pair of gloves and feel it. Yeah. Or you can just look, that's fine too. I feel it at the seventh hour. Yes, you will. I don't want to get all grossy and juicy and all that thing. Yeah. So the connected or the preservation fluid like fully infiltrated the lungs. Um, if you were to feel the lungs, they feel like a sponge, and they are full of fluid. So sorry, every time I inflate it, I gotta drain it for the first like half of the day. So long. Um, tomorrow I'll actually have the heart cut open. So we have actually time we can look at what the inside of the heart looks like. Are we gonna cut up on the heart seventh hour? <laughs> yes, we are gonna cut the heart up seventh hour. Okay. This is gonna be fun, bruh. See that guy, isn't that cool? You know, you love that. You know that I love dissections, bros. And be watching in my seventh hour video of me dissecting the heart, lungs and heart. Let's see. Check it out, bros. All right, tomorrow, quick reminder, um, we will cover the, <laughs> well, okay, this is, so, um, actually, first of all, let's talk about this. So, sheeps are not bipeds like us. Instead of standing upright, they're on all fours. Um, so, this is where the head would be, the tail would, you know, be back here. So I have lung number one and lung number two. Which one is the right lung? Number one or number two? Two. two. One. So the one is yeah, the right lung. Exactly. Yeah, if I were, yeah, yeah right, left. Okay, you might want to watch your hands. All right. <laughs> so like, Secondly, in humans, our lungs have different lobes. How many lobes does our right lung have? Three. 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 Let's look here. A one, two. How many lobes does our left lung have? Two. One and two. Tomorrow, we're gonna to take an ID quiz and I'm gonna separate the lungs. So you're not gonna be able to look at this and kind of figure out, oh, the head would be there. Instead, you're just gonna have a lung and a lung. You're gonna to have to identify them based on the number of lobes. So remember, right lobe, three, left lobe, two. The heart is underneath here. 
We'll get to the heart in a minute. Um, this is part of the diaphragm. Some of your plucks will still have diaphragm, others won't. Uh, back here, there was some connective tissue that I cut out. Um, this is part of the mediastinum. We'll be back here. There's more of that kind of up in here. So you can cut that out if it's in your way. Now, what lungs look like when they are partially inflated is something like this. Oh. Yep. 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 Here it is. Yes, a while ago, as in 2014. Uh, this has been cut, so I can't inflate all of this during the butchering process. Um, it was cut. But I can try to inflate part of this lung. I won't be able to get all of it, but I'll get part of the left lung when I feed my little contraption down in here. Holy oh, crap! That is just that is just that inflating lung. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you know, he's been like pickled with preserved pickles. Because this lived on a shelf for over a year in Bellevue West before we got to it. So it's preserved. All right. Now it's your turn. Materials you need. You need gloves. If you're going to touch it, there are small and medians up here. There's large gloves in the back. You will need, and mm, it's not perfectly washed, you will need one blunt probe and one pair of scissors per group. And you'll need a dissecting tray. Grab your materials, and then I will eventually bring around your phone. Hey, it's Padme here, and we're dissecting a uh, sheep's lung and heart. So enjoy the video. All right, so. Can you see the esophagus. Get closer with the camera. One, two, three. Huh? Here's the esophagus. Get all your diaphragm. Look at that. Wow. I think this one's our right lung. So it's like you're all tired. Alright, let's take a moment and let's identify what we're looking at. So I'm going to pick one up and I'm going to do it over the tray so I hope it don't drip because I drip last year. Alright, this is the trachea and some of you have extra trachea. things. Some of you have like no this trachea. This is a trachea. But, um, yeah, so you hold this up right here. Some of you notice there is like extra connective tissue up here. Um, you might actually have a little bit of esophagus in the thyroid present. Most of you will take you don't. Um, so this, all this extra tissue, you can cut off. Uh, what I'd like you to do is kind of feel the trachea though. How does it feel? Kind of. Kind of. Uh, it's rigid. Okay, rigid. What are those ridges made of? Cartilage. cartilage. Yeah. So you have all that cartilage holding your trachea open so that you don't like deny because you can't get air. So, so this is right. a trachea. So when you feel Where it, it breathes, like you know? Yeah. All right. Now look at your lungs. Can you find the three lobes on the right lung, the two lobes on the left lung? Because well, that's how you're going to ID it tomorrow. This is the right. No, because there's three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I said the right has three. So this is the right. But this is. Yeah, but the heart is right here. So. Yeah, this is the right. like Because it has three lobes. Right? No, uh, let's see. This right is three lobes? This, this is the right, and that's the left. How? What? Because it goes like, excuse me, it goes like this. Yep. yep. Right here's the head. Yep. Right here's the tail. Yep. And on this side is the Wait. left. Like but this side is right. Okay, so the lobes. Yeah, let's look at them. How do you um, talk about So to me, I see one, and you have a slightly malshapen one, and I see two. So that's, since this is kind of malshaped, I wouldn't oh. use one like this. Okay, I I'd use a little, it'd be more three. obvious. Yeah. Okay. And then, so like. All right, how's our lobe identification? Yeah. One, two, three. Sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. You Ours guys have to know for the test. Right. I'm just here for yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, second part. Let's. So your trachea turns into what two structures? Your bronchi. So take your scissors, cut down the trachea until you counter the bronchi. Okay. So we're cutting the trachea like all the way down. Like from the top all like this? Yep. Okay. All right, guys, let's do this together. All right. All right, video tape, you seen us? Mm -hmm. 
Bronchi, somewhere down there. I have to cut more. Oh, there we go. I'll get in there. Dude, bro. I don't know your name. See, right there's a hole. And right there's a hole. You got it all the down? The Okay. Wait, here's the heart. The lungs. Is that the. Thingy. Check you. Check you. That's cool. I didn't know this. I took medical biology last year. It is quite squishy. It's like a mushroom. It's spongy. Don't see. It's <laughs> even <laughs> What? What? Okay, that's like squishy. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, I think I stuck my arm in these juice. That's okay. I've been careful. I would roll my sleeves up. Yeah. Have him do it. I gotta hold this. You're the video camera. It's not working. <laughs> Oh, she's blowing them up. We're trying to get her sleeve down. I was like trying to elbow it. I don't know. I got there, it. I got there, it. there, yeah. Because I like definitely stuck my arm in the. Might want to wash yeah. that shirt when you get home. Yeah. Well, I don't think you did get it because. Like, yeah, yeah. there wasn't like a mark, but it felt close, and I got scared. Yeah. <laughs> so squishy. Get a video tape of the class and let's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to feel what the lung feels like, and it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this part's just yeah, it's squishy. It's like bottom part, is super duper squishy. And this part's not nearly as squishy. Oh, yeah. oh weird. I got an itch. <laughs> A little fish thing? Um, is it like a part of the hook? <laughs> like a type of bait? Or are you thinking... I don't know. Just something to do with fishing? Yeah. Just okay. generally. Fishing is this feeling? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like memory foam. <laughs> like memory foam. You hear that, guys? Good view on this. Look at that. I don't know 
what it all is, but maybe the diaphragm? Is this the diaphragm? Down there, yeah, probably. Yeah, that is the diaphragm. Cool. Can I inflate it? Sure. Okay. All right, guys, get a good look at this. So we are going to... Oh dear, that's weird. Oh well, yeah, that went a little crazy there with that one. I overinflated it, so it kind of had that air bubble. We could pop it. We could pop it. Please don't pop it. Don't. She got a bubble and she went pop it. Don't pop it. Let's pop it. I didn't pop it. I want to pop it. No, she's not. <laughs> All right, that's what it looks like. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, now at this point, what I would like you to do is to cut off the lumps. So cut like right there, and then cut like right there. Okay. All right, it's your turn. All right, guys. I just, cut, I just cut my face way too close to that table. Here we go. We're cutting the lungs off. We don't have that Oh, dear. Tissue. Oh, my God. I'm really Yeah, and that went more than most people's actually. Yeah, I No, she just over it. Miss Runa, you've been over pumping everything. Well, I don't have the reflex that you it's fine. Devin, why aren't you doing it, bro? Come on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My man, ding a -ling over here. <laughs> There we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's one long. I'll do the other one. You're in the class. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just. I'm for AP biology. And I. I. She. Because uh, I like dissections, so she invited me to come to this class and do this with you also. You want to do some cutting or not? As long as you people are learning, you know, <laughs> for the test tomorrow. So like test tomorrow. Wait. It's just the quiz. Oh, the quiz. quiz. Okay. I call it test quiz or something. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what you do. I just call it a test. Stuff. Right, guys, you know I love this stuff. You guys should yeah, check out my YouTube channel. So it's, it's, it's like, um, it's once your blood creation is low, it should be Because when you do a tourniquet, you're cutting up like this. Oh, wow, cutting up the, this, the bronchi right here. And then when you like throw scissors, you're going to like wake up. So long as you have blood flowing. Those scissors suck. <laughs> I think these ones are our bad scissors. Yeah. Which long was right and which was left? Yes. That one's kind of. This one's kind of. Yeah. This one's. Okay. Yeah. I got each one down. 
questions? Huh? Nothing. You can just set it on your lap. <laughs> you have to itch your nose. Here, get over here, Mom, so you can get these really detailed. We'll just go with whichever lung. has more lobes yeah. on the test. This lung just had, or this sheep okay. just, or lamb, or whatever it was. She, she, yeah. This sheep had um, super lobes. Mm -hmm. You guys are fun to work with. <laughs> OCD about it. Yes. I'm very concerned about my sheep mom's. No. It's really squishy too. Inflating. No more inflating? Because you guys want to see that nonsense. How about one more? One more. Okay. How about that? Alright, let's look at it. And then did you get the difference between the arteries and veins explained? No. Okay. So when I look here, um, here is a vein. This thing right here that's all collapsed, mm -hmm. that's a vein. So veins are under way less pressure than arteries. So when they're not filled with fluid, they just collapse. So right in here, that's a vein. Um, you can see it just collapses easily over here is an artery um, so it's not so you can kind of feel the difference the bronchioles they have like a whole bunch of cartilage on that whereas this when you feel it it's not cartilage this is an artery it's a lot thicker because the arteries are under a lot higher pressure so you just need that extra i guarantee this is a question tomorrow okay artery vein arteries so that's, that's stay open right there these are veins up here so this is so a that's artery? a vein um this, is this yep that's an artery okay so it's this hard that is a this is a vein. I'm not sure. Yeah, it collapses. Is, is that an artery or a vein? That's an artery. Okay, good. Yep, and that's a vein right there. Okay, one more quick inflation, and then we'll call it good with the inflations. No, it's gonna have juicy stuff come out of it, please. I'll try not to. So this have one you had that happen? A little bit. Okay. Really? Yeah, just, you know. Yeah. That's how it goes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys ready to come to the heart now? Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do now is go ahead and cut off all of this stuff up here. Okay, I didn't see who it was. I was just, I was just trying to see who it was. Um, go ahead and cut off all this tissue up here, and when it's cut off, I'll tell you how to open it up. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're gonna cut off all this nonsense to see the heart. If you don't want to do anything, you're in the class. <laughs> you're good. We're good. Uh, as long as we can see, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Suit yourselves. <laughs> can you help me, please? Absolutely. Now for the heart. Go ahead and. You want me to hold this? Yeah. Oh, there's blood in there. 
So you want to be a science teacher? Yes. Bruh. That's what's up. Biology? Physical science? Uh, chemistry? I actually really enjoy chemistry. Chemistry is fun. I'm not I don't like physics. Physics. What? Not a fan of physics. Really? Not at all. I like physics. I feel like you either like chem, physics, or biology. I'm a I biologist. Like... Yeah, I can because tell. You I haven't can... done this dissection yet, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I never did this one. And I have a, and I have a YouTube channel that you should check out. Jacko, or uh, Padme, maybe I'll show you. Good, you'll have to like, write it down for me. Um, Alright, so this is your heart. And um, when you guys are dissecting, you're just going to want to cut down like the sides of it. So okay. when you're looking at it, you'll cut down and you'll half it. Okay. Sure. Can we do that now? Yep, you can go ahead and do that now. Yeah. She's gonna have an awesome job. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we're cutting through the heart and uh, making a uh, half of it. I have to tell them what I'm doing. So I'm like, oh, what you doing? That's good. It'd be different if I had a scalpel, but I don't have a scalpel. We use those in Johnson's class. Oh, look at all this fat. And these either, things it? hurt. I wish I had a scalpel. Yeah. Like much well, easier. Our scalpels don't fit all the way through, so it tends to be very jagged. So I found while well, this is harder, you get better results with the scissors. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that's definitely. Well, I was too scared to go to college. I went down. Yeah, it might be easier to use the other side because these ones are half blind. So like, if you put. This side in my house. Oh, I shorter. didn't know that. Thank you for pointing that out. Well, that. Okay. Thank you. Chip's always welcome. Because it has a pokey set. I didn't even notice that. I know. I know. Oh. Wow, This is the hardest dissection I ever did. I did like cow's eyes and um, uh, sheep's brain and all those type of things, but this is quite difficult. Mm -hmm. Sheep's kidney, I think. Yeah. Videos on my channel, that nonsense. So fun. A lot of people, my teachers and my family say I should be like a coroner. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even think I have the guts to do it. I think this is the biggest organism I ever dissected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you like cats? Yeah. Oh, I think that's why it's going to be so hard to do yeah. that dissection. I know. Can you pull my finger? Yeah. Results with this because I'm doing a shitty job. Oh, there we go.
go. Oh, I did a crap job. No, 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 no. This is the last time. So oh, we'll figure it out. We did it. Oh, it looks really weird. There we go. Good view. See? Inside of the heart. Alright, do you know which is the left one? Like this. The first side. Like this. Okay. Just like this. Like, can you guys tell me which is the left and which is the right? I can, but just by looking at it. So, um, right here is, yep, here's one ventricle and here's the other ventricle. Hmm. So, Chris, you said that's the left. Why do you think that's the left? Because the side's thicker. Yeah, so your right ventricle only has to pump blood to the lungs, which are like right there. So, it's not to work very hard. Whereas, this ventricle, the left one, has to pump it to the entire body, so it has to be a lot stronger because it has to do a lot more work. Yeah. This is your chordae tendinae that attaches to the valve. That's the name of the valve on the left side. The bicuspid. Yep, also Bi known as the... Mitral. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one, you can't really see it. What's the valve that's here? The tricuspid. Yep. And then over here, you'd have your something... Aorta. Aortic semilunar valve. Yep, the aorta would come out right here and go to the rest of the body. Yeah, There's a hole here. What's that? Well, well, that's where, a pulmonary valve? Why is it coming back in? It's coming into the left atrium. So what would it be? Uh, the left atrium. Pulmonary veins. Yep. Where was the pulmonary artery? And okay, so also look how thin that is, mm -hmm. comparative relative to like all this. The pulmonary artery would be coming out. I think we cut it kind of in half, so it's hard to see. Yeah, I did a crappy job. No, it's okay. It's the scissors that gave me a hard time. Right here. That's your pulmonary. So it goes like above. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you can even see that's a pretty thick type of tissue right there. So your aorta is really thick coming out. So, yeah. so pulmonary vein, where is that? What? Where's pulmonary vein? That's the oh, that's the left one. So here's pulmonary vein, that's pulmonary artery. Because the artery goes away, so that's one that goes to the left. And it's supposed to go like this. That felt gross. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Here, maybe? Yeah, The trachea fell into her lap. Sorry. I should laugh. So would it be like on the outside? Um, or is it still yeah. on the it's still like go um, into the heart, but mm -hmm. just we're not orientated enough with the sheet heart to know exactly where. But like in here, that's gonna be like your aorta. Like right in here. And then you have thing. It's a nice ring, do you know Yeah. <laughs> Makes a statement. <laughs> Would you like to get married with it? Have I? Oh no. Wow, I got such a beautiful wedding ring. <laughs> No, because, wait, so hang on. Because that's the right. So it's like this. There you go. So now it would be on this side. Yeah. Somewhere. Here, maybe. Then where is it? Is it still videotaping? Okay. 
That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna cut the right, music. If I could have your attention, please, just quick review, and then we need to clean up. Um, I have my arm one right here, arm two right here. Which one is touching the left side of the heart? Arm one, arm two. Which one? Arm two. Arm two. Arm two. Okay. How do we know that it's arm, that this side is the left side? Well, because a this a the right side's higher up on. Okay, so the way it is oriented, the right ventricle is higher or more superior. Is the way we cut it, but I can't tell. Cut it like this. True, but I will. Yeah. Um, the key is that the myocardium on the left side is much much thicker because it's got to pump blood to everywhere, whereas the right ventricle only has to do the lungs, which are like right there. So it doesn't need to be as strong. That's the key. Uh, for your quiz tomorrow, I'm not going to ask you about the superior and inferior vena cava. Those are kind of hard to see. Everything else is fair game. Do you want a quick review of everything, of any of those, or you feel pretty good about these? Where's the valve? All right, so the bicuspid valve is on the left side. The left side is the right side. Left side. Left side. The tricuspid valve. Yep. Yeah. Anywhere where you see these string-like things, that's your where your valve is. So. Okay, string like things being the valves there. No, where so my like thumb this thumb is a valve. Where my thumb is is a valve. Yeah, right. I can't really like see in that. That might actually just like be the valve. Yeah. What's this? Look at that. Yeah. So it has a. Oops. Cut the Alright, at this point in time, we need to clean up. Look at that. Absolutely. Okay. So to clean up, put everything in the red trash. Those are the bronchioles. And then the alveoli are in there somewhere. The red trash can's right there. <laughs> are you okay? So you have to wash your hands. This is the septum. Sheep, lung, heart. I think it was heart on the table. What? I picked it up. It was just a little bit. All right, let's throw out our dude. You're a good cameraman. There you go. See, look at that. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Um, we had fun today. Thank you for watching or er, dissecting with me, guys. So, uh, have a good day. Bye.